And good afternoon. Welcome, everyone, to this week's Wi-Fi Wednesday. I set up a new uh, scene over here, so let me know if you guys like my new scene. Let me know if my camera is clear. I'll actually switch over to that right now. Um, so let me know if everything is nice and clear. I want to welcome everyone to this week. Um, I'm going to be doing a ton more training. As I mentioned, I had wanted to wait until we had a bunch of new features. Um, I had a little bit of time right now to get all those finished up. We have a ton of new content. We have a new brand new ebook to share with you guys. We have a ton of new articles and training. We have an entire new support desk. So we've been really, really hard at work here during this, you know, COVID times, um, really, put, you know, put our head down and really started developing a ton of new stuff. So I have a lot of that to share with you. It's actually a bit of it to share with you today, but I wanted to also share with you um, this new scene that I have. I'm actually in my office. All of our staff are working from home, but I have a brand new fancy camera set up over there and I have uh, right here as well. Actually, I'm not even using my new fancy camera. I can actually switch this over. Let me know if my new fancy camera is better. And there we go, actually. This is much better. Maybe this is better. Let me know uh, what you guys think. It might be a little bright over here, uh, but anyways, Enough about me and this new scene. Let me get right into uh, what I have for you guys today. So as you know, um, we live in the time of coronavirus and COVID-19. So I hope a lot of you guys took my advice and started reaching out to a lot of your local clients. I hope you are sending emails. I hope you are communicating uh, with them and then getting them to communicate with their end users. And please, I wanna ask if you can please just type in below on Facebook over here what challenges you're currently having. Uh, what issues you're having right now, obviously everyone's having issues. A lot of people are out of work, uh, have the kids at home, you know, things are kind of crazy. Uh, but please comment below if there's a way that I can help you or what you currently need right now with your business. That would really help uh, us a lot to be able to help you better. And I'll stress this again, it's never been more important to communicate with your customers by email, by SMS, by phone, especially for restaurant delivery services. So if you are currently uh, doing any kind of restaurant delivery, make sure that you are, um, you know, getting on the radar of your clients. And uh, some of the new features we have are in our new email editor. So let me open that up here and show you guys. So the way where you find this is inside a broadcast or an automation when you're setting it up. You hop on over to automations here. And apologies, it seems like my internet, it always gets really slow when I start streaming some uh, high def video here. So I'll have to take a look at that. And uh, I might actually be on a 4G connection. My uh, internet's been a little shady in the office here. I, maybe the uh, cell phone company used that as an opportunity to upgrade the line. I think I'm running on 4G. I see the lights off on that there. So hopefully it's not a long-term thing. But anyways, let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. So if you add a new automation, let's say called call this COVID response. And you can obviously set your triggers. I'll do it every time a guest connects. You can do an email. Sender's name would be test. I just want to show this to you guys. So you want to start from a template. Now, uh, as you guys know, we have a ton of templates here. So take a look at all of them. If you haven't seen them yet, make sure you scroll through a lot of them here. You can always see what they look like. Click on preview. So we have a ton of different, uh, you know, a ton of different themes and templates for everything. Now, one thing I want to bring your attention to is some of the newest ones that we have are right at the bottom here. So we have um, an emergency announcement that I sent off. Some of you guys have already seen this and also have a support and fundraising one. So this is uh, great for COVID. So this is something that you can set up right now for your restaurant clients, let's say, to send off to all of their customers. So three great things you can do right now. You can order food from us. You know, you can help a local business. We do deliver, so make sure you order food, keep us alive. Uh, make sure you support and fundraise. Make sure you stay at home. So those are things, you have the CDC logo here. This is something you can send off right now. And something even further to this that I want to add, I'll actually just pull up that template again. And I'll just actually pull up the announcement template. I'm gonna need a little bit more room to, uh, to play around with these new features here. So the new features are right inside the email editor. They are uh, timers, GIFs, and stickers. So GIFs is, is exactly what it sounds like. You drag this here, search for animated GIF. And we have millions of gifts from Giphy that now within a couple clicks. So let's say I search something uh, over here, do something like that, you know? So, so it's really easy to create fun and engaging uh, messages right now. You don't have to think too much about what to write. You just got to get something out there, right? Maybe this is not the best match of uh, image, GIF image for a template, but you get the idea. Uh, another feature that we added are stickers. 
So here you can just drag a sticker wherever you want, search stickers with Giphy. These are a little different than animated GIFs. These are more like small things. So again, if I did something like, um, so any kind of keyword, um, you know, some of them look better than others, but obviously you can get some pretty cool animated GIFs that you can, uh, you know, depending on your market, can send off some pretty fun messages. Now, the third option that I think is by far the coolest and probably most timely for right now is a countdown timer. So this countdown timer is not your average countdown timer. It's a very, very smart and intelligent countdown timer. What it does is actually takes a date in time, an actual minute, seconds in time, and it makes a dynamic calendar. So if you send an email now and you say um, expires on this day, every time they open the email, it will actually show a live countdown timer of exactly how much time is left in your promotion. So this is great for like, hey, our grand opening is happening in nine days, 11 hours, 46 minutes. What you do here is you set your event time. So I'm really hoping that the world is going to get back to normal. Um, let's call it. And I'm hopeful for May 1st. You know, I, I think it's probably going to be something more like, you know, May 11th, something like that. So let's say in May 11th, and we're going to be doing a grand opening of our new store at 9 a.m. Um, that'll be, uh, let's say, Eastern Standard Time. Eastern time, and you have some options here. So you can choose your font size. You can choose your individual font. You can also choose a background color. Let's do something a little bit nicer than that. Choose a background color here. You can show an expiration image. So once this timer goes to zero, once it hits your limit, uh, you can, instead of showing zeros, you can be like, sorry, you missed out, or come next time, or whatever image you want, you can actually show there uh, automatically. You can have some strokes and some shadows on the font. You can get like really fancy with design as far as being able to uh, customize this timer. So obviously you got some colors, um, you have um, some labeling options here, but I'll just keep that as is and click on save. And now this dynamic timer is injected right into your email and it is dynamic. So if you send it now, if somebody, if, you know, after 32 days, if somebody opens this email, it's going to have the image, the expired image and say, sorry, you missed it. So this is super cool, super relevant for right now. Great for promotions, great for post COVID grand opening, great for any kind of messaging uh, that you wanna send to your clients. And you can do all of this directly with the countdown timer. Another new cool feature that I'm gonna be training on shortly are dynamic images. So the ability, this is a little bit more technical, but have you, guys, have you guys ever seen the images where it's like happy birthday? It's actually like a, you know, it's a, it's a real image, it's a JPEG that you can download. And it says like, happy birthday, John, but the name or the dynamic name John is actually part of the image and it shows like a birthday cake and it's all done. That's done through a layered Photoshop image. And we are launching compatibility to send dynamic emails using that functionality so that you can have uh, sending kind of custom promotions, a happy birthday message that is more than just, uh, you know, inserted with actual text. It can be really fancy. It can be really cool from Photoshop. So any kind of Photoshop layered image, you upload the PSD file and it takes that layer and it inserts it into the email, which is like super awesome. That's really technical. I'll get on that later. But right now, really easy for most of you. You go here, timer, gifts and stickers are now available right inside of the email editor. Cool. So um, that's one of the new features we have for this week. We have a ton of new stuff. We have uh, email SMTP functionality. We have some more hardware options. We have a whole bunch of other stuff that we're going to be bringing live to you shortly. But in the meantime, I didn't want to, um, you know, I wanted to share what was ready and I wanted to make sure that you guys are out there, you know, obviously safe and healthy and taking care of your families, number one, paramount at this time. Um, but, you know, close second is make sure you're ready, make sure you're strategizing for your business. Um, I know I have mentioned to you guys that I was going to go live a little bit more than I have in the last few weeks. That's primarily because we were working really hard on creating all this content and creating a new knowledge base that we'll be launching. Uh, hopefully I'll be, be able to uh, launch that for you guys uh, by end of this week, if not next. And uh, just super excited. It is Good Friday after all this weekend, so I don't know if I'll be getting it through. But uh, at the end of the day, I just want you guys to know um, that, you know, switch the camera up. You know, we're here for you guys. Uh, we obviously uh, want to make sure that you're succeeding, you're taking care of your business, and everything is going swell for you this year, given all the shit that's happening in the world. So all the best to you and your family. Happy Easter. Uh, and take care of everyone. Uh, talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.